Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Salman Kitani, Associate Professor in the Richard and Lone Hill Department of Bioengineering at the University of Illinois at Chicago. As a professor, I not only teach engineering courses to students, but I also supervise research conducted by students in a lab environment. The lab that I direct is called the Microfabricated Tissue Models Lab, or the MTM Lab in short. Would you like to go check out my lab? Let's go. You're probably wondering what goes on in a research lab. Well, different labs work on different topics, even in the same profession. Our MTM lab works on building miniature liver tissues from cells of patients who have donated their cells to science. We build these tissues to help patients who might need a new liver because their own liver is not functioning anymore. Our miniature liver tissues can also be used for testing the toxicity of new drugs before these drugs are ingested by patients in the clinic. Such testing is really important to make sure that people are not put in harm's way because many drugs can have unforeseen side effects. Finally, our miniature liver tissues can be used to mimic global human diseases like hepatitis, malaria, and diabetes so that better therapies can be developed against these diseases. Now, while we love the liver because it is a fascinating and critical organ in the body, other labs in this field of tissue engineering focus on other organs like the heart and kidney. If I've caught your attention and you want to pursue tissue engineering as a career, please visit bioe.uic.edu to learn more about how to apply to UIC's bioengineering degree programs. Now let's go check out some of the projects that our students are currently working on. Hi, my name is David and I'm conducting research in the MTN lab to pursue my PhD with UIC's bioengineering department. I work on creating miniature liver tissues using these small porous scaffolds made from silk that is harvested from silkworms. Turns out that silk is not only good for clothing, but also as a material for making tissues. We put human liver cells in these scaffolds and the cells can survive in it for many months. Currently, we are working to make sure that these cells function in these silk scaffolds like they do in the human body. And once we are finished with this research, we will start implanting these miniature liver tissues into animals with the help from clinicians. Hi, my name is Brent Ware, and I'm a fifth year PhD student here in the Microfabricated Tissue Models Laboratory. Besides silk, we can also make liver devices that can be used for drug testing. Here I'm showing you a rubber polymer attached to a plastic bottom. We put liver cells on the plastic bottom, seal it off with the rubber polymer, and then flow some blood-like liquid over the cells to mimic what happens in the body. Then we can put some drugs in the liquid to see if the cells might die due to the drug. And if they do die, then that would be a sign to us that we need to keep finding a safer alternative to that drug so that people won't experience toxicity when they take the drug. Hi, I'm Christine Lin, and I'm a research specialist here at UIC's Department of Bioengineering. These are some human liver cells in a circular pattern, and they're surrounded by another cell type called fibroblasts, which support the liver cells. We call these micropattern cold cultures because the liver cells are patterned in small microdomains, and there are two types of cells next to each other, which makes it a cold culture. We have used these micropattern cold cultures to mimic and study different global diseases. For example, we can make these cells diabetic by feeding them a lot of sugar or fats, like what happens in obesity. We can also infect these cells with hepatitis C virus, which currently affects almost 200 million people in the world. We mimic these diseases in this model so we can test different drugs, which may one day be able to cure these diseases. Testing drugs on miniature human liver tissues like this is critical because testing drugs on animals doesn't always work very well due to differences in how other animals have evolved as compared to humans. If you're intrigued by what we do here in the MTM lab, Check out our website at mtm.uic.edu for more information about our research and the students behind it. Tune in for more exciting things coming from the MTM lab.